Hey guys, Tim here. Going to do a quick final video, finally, on the Snow Badger. So as you can see, my horrible cabling job, which I'm going to put one more set of drives in here at some point, so I didn't really work on cleaning it up too much, but it is, you know, down and out of the way. The airflow through this is extremely good. You have two, you know, fan, little fans up front there, and then your exhaust fan. Um, my one comment would be, uh, the liquid cooling in this case works great. The CPU stays, you know, 31, 32 degrees, even under load. Uh, not a heavy overclock on it, just a basic overclock, because this board really, I think it's like a .2 overclock, so. And that's just in the boost clock itself. The one thing I would change is the fan that comes with these Intel branded water coolers is really loud. And this is, you know, something as small is going to go on your desk. This fan is really, really loud, so I'm just going to, even though it's not going to look great, this case is never going to be open, so I'm just going to put a Noctua fan on there. Uh, I have a couple around that I can throw on there. On the side here, you can see we have an EVGA 760. Pretty quiet for a blower style. It does really well. And Obviously, this is an ITX board, so you only get the one slot. Uh, the one interesting thing here is, if you buy this case, is if you, you can see here, if it focuses, there we go, good camera. You can see that, you know, I had to run a cable to do this, uh, the speed controller for the fans. Um, what I might actually try doing as well is, is plugging the heat sink fan into there and seeing if I undervolt it, if it still has enough cooling then I don't have to worry about it and it'll quiet it down a little bit because right now it's plugged into I don't know if you guys can see or if I can find it for that matter right here it's plugged into the the fan uh, built-in pump so just a little quick follow-up video I'm quite pleased it does stay cool this board is not an overclocking board by any way, shape, or, or means, but with the limited amount of airflow in this case, even if you bought, you know, one of the high-end, you know, like the, the Stinger, the EVGA, or the uh, Asus ROG ITX board, um, I don't know that I would put them in this. Just from the fact that there is limited airflow in this case, so, you know, you want to keep an eye on temperatures. But other than that, you know, not a bad build for such a small case. Uh, it looks gorgeous in my opinion. I love that brushed aluminum. And there's the, the air intake. So other than this fan, the front fans are extremely quiet. I didn't have any problem with them, especially when you take them down to 7 volts. Uh, the blower fan, not too bad for, you know, well, a blower fan. Uh, and that exhaust, you know, that does take some air through the case as well. And there's the the side pan or the, the top there it has a little hole for the blower and that's actually the PSU side but so that's about it nothing too crazy uh, I definitely recommend this case it is a challenge to work with but it is also one of the smallest cases on the market uh, and if you're building a steam box guys you want a nice case check out this fractal node 304 it's Tim for Timmy Tech TV we'll see you guys next time